Well, millions of Americans have irritable bowel disease. I actually have Crohn's disease and have been dealing with it since I was 15 years old. We have the Take Steps for Crohn's and Colitis walk this weekend, and I'm actually going to be walking, and I have a team, and I caught up with last year's honored hero. I love golf. I feel awesome. 17 year old Lauren Dom knows golf can be unpredictable. There's good days and bad days on the golf course, too. And the good days are what Lauren holds on to. She was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when she was seven years old. It's an autoimmune disease that affects her digestive system. You just don't want to do anything. I mean, you don't really want to see people. And there are days where she just doesn't want to do anything, and the pain is so unbelievably excruciating, you can't even imagine it. Oh, I can imagine. The pain is absolutely terrible. I was actually diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 15 years old, and sometimes I stand up here on the green screen and do traffic, and I really don't think I can get through my morning because of how uh, bad that pain is, but there is so much hope. Join Lauren and I and hundreds of others in the Dayton area for the Take Steps for Crohn's and Colitis Walk this Saturday. I want to find a cure like so bad like today because I know it affects me, but I know it affects other people too. She swings and hopes she scores, but more importantly, Lauren hopes today is a good day. You ignore the pain just because you're playing golf. You have something else to keep your mind busy. Yes, so she was an honor to talk to. Yeah, I mean, that's just awesome. the way that she deals with this as being in high school and everything was really cool. And she actually was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at age seven. So that is so young. Usually you get it in your 20s. And you actually can invite our friends at home to join you on that walk. Yes, I have my Hillary's Cronies team. <laughs> Good it name. Is, uh, this Saturday, we're going to kick some butt at the walk. And actually, coming up in a few minutes, I'll sit down with the coordinator of this year's walk uh, on how you can get involved as well as a local doctor about the disease. All right, Hillary, thank you. This weekend, hundreds of people in Dayton will walk in the fight against irritable bowel disease. 1.4 million people are affected each day, including me. I have Crohn's disease. This Saturday is the Take Steps for Crohn's and Colitis Walk, and Sean Baker, the coordinator, joins us along with Dr. Takor of Digestive Specialists. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, and I think this is a question everyone has, especially when I tell people I have Crohn's. They're like, what the heck is it? So what is it? Well, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis both belong in the classification of inflammatory bowel disease. And it's a chronic condition, it's a lifelong condition where the immune system, it's an autoimmune disease, the immune system of the body has become abnormal. It does not consider the intestine as its own. It believes it is a foreign infection or a toxin. And the immune system is constantly fighting the intestine. And that's where the uh, constant inflammation occurs. And it can be obviously extremely painful. You can have some symptoms that really aren't fun at all. You're going to the bathroom a lot, by the way. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at 15 years old. We interviewed a couple of people who are the honored hero at this year's walk. And Sean, as the walk coordinator, what can we expect this year? Oh, I expect a lot of fun. I mean, um, the walk's going to start at 9 a.m. Registration. We'll, uh, the walk will actually start um, through Weggers and Gardens at 930 as we come back, there's going to be, you know, uh, live music. There's going to be face painting for the kids. For any of those who want to get a henna tattoo, Ooh. I strongly encourage it. We'll also be having a um, special demonstration by a belly dancing team. So um, you might see me out there. So that might be worth the price of admission in itself. Oh, Sean, you're going to be doing some belly dancing? <laughs> maybe. Okay, we'll maybe see. Maybe I'll join you. <laughs> All right, awesome. And how much do these walks actually help out with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America? Obviously, they've, you guys have raised over $16,000 so far, right, Sean? Yes, yes. Okay. And that goes towards research. And where are we at right now? There is constant research with inflammatory bowel disease. Um, new medications are coming out uh, almost every few years. Um, and there are more options available. So we're not anywhere near a cure, but um, we are finding out more about how this autoimmune system gets triggered and what can we do to prevent such triggering and starting to understand how to control that autoimmune system from destroying one's own body. And there is so much treatment out there. That's the good news. So if you have just been diagnosed or you have a son or daughter who have just been diagnosed, there is a lot of hope. So thank you guys so much for yeah. coming in. Sean, I'm excited to see the belly dancing this weekend. <laughs> the Crohn's and Colitis Walk is this Saturday. Weggers and Gardens, there is no registration fee. Again, it kicks off at 9 a.m. We'll have more information about the walk on fox45now.com. Just click on fox45 in the morning. Both of you, thank you so much thank for you. coming in. Thank I'm excited you. to walk with you this Saturday.